What's up guys, so I'm back again with another video for you guys. Um, this time I'm going to be replacing the brake light switch on the E30. Okay guys, so this is the new brake light switch. And there's a part number if you guys need to get your own brake light switch. It's from Hella, or however you pronounce that. But yeah, it just comes in this uh, little yellow box. And let me open, I'll show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so this is what the brake switch looks like. Just two pins, the actual switch right there. And yeah, I'm gonna be replacing this. So the reason I'm replacing that switch is because the switch is like sticking. And what I mean by sticking is that uh, I'll be at a stoplight and then I'll let go of the brakes and then my rear brake lights stay on. And I can tell that they're still on because when, it, when it's like dark outside, I'll let go of the brakes and then from that third brake light up top, um, I, I can see that it's still on because of the reflection against the rear windshield. So, I mean, I, I'll see if it does it right now. All right, I'll see if it does it right now. So I'll press the brake and then I'll go out here and it's not doing it, of course it's not doing it. But yeah, so I don't know, I'll try it again. So I'll be pressing the brake or whatever, I'll be at a stoplight and then I'll let go of the brake and then it should be doing it but it's not doing it right now. Whatever. Um, it's done it multiple times. Yeah, so of course right now it's not doing it because I'm trying to show you guys. But yeah, I'll show you guys how to replace that switch. It's pretty simple. Hopefully it's like a short video. I'll make it pretty short and simple. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So we're down here by the pedals and you're gonna have to take, let me see if I can show you. All right, so there's a couple of eight millimeter screws. Um, for me, there's only two because the other two are missing. Um, so yeah, take off those screws and then you should be able to see the brake light switch. So drop this kick panel, you just have to wiggle it out. There's the, like the ringer for the, when the door is open. There's just a little clip, take that off. And then, all right. I don't know what the f what this is all for, um, but I'll leave that there. Um, okay, so okay, so now we're down here. Obviously, locate your brake pedal. So this is your brake pedal, and then this right here is the brake light switch. So you gotta take off the connector first. So to get this connector off, just pinch the sides and it should come out. Yeah, there we go. So put the connector aside and then 
you're gonna have to try to take the, the actual switch out. I'm gonna put the camera down because I'm, I need both hands to do this. But yeah, uh, take this, take the switch off. So the way I ended up popping this thing off is that, so imagine the switch is like that. And here are like little tabs. So here's a tab. And then I just got in there with the flat uh, pocket screwdriver and just press the tab down and then just popped it out. You're gonna have to use a little bit of force to, to pop it out. But once you get the first tab, since there's two tabs, one in the front, one in the back, um, you just gotta get one tab and then one, after you get that one tab, one side would like come off and then you can like wiggle it out. But it does take a little bit of force to take them out, but I mean, you should be able to do it. All right guys, so here's both switches side to side. And this one's the old one, the one I just took off right now. And I don't know, this one doesn't feel right. It, it's kind of stiff and makes it clicking and I don't know. I don't know if the original ones do this because this is the first one I've taken off. But I don't know, when I press it, it doesn't go very far in. And like, I, I don't know, I feel like it's something inside is like not right. So I don't know if the original original ones are supposed to do that, but if we grab the new one, I press the switch and it goes in and out. Pretty smooth. The switches look a little bit different. This one's a little bit like uh, fatter and this one's a little bit thinner, but it should still work. So there's pretty much only one way to put these in. If you look on, this will focus. If you look on this side, this piece right there is like, on the right here, is like sticking up a lot more than all the rest of the sides. So yeah, so that's, that's how it goes in. See how the old one has that plastic piece sticking up too so if you're looking at the brake pedal this goes in like that and just clips in all right so I'm about to put the new one in came okay, back in here uh, so I'm comfortable okay put the light for you guys That's the spot right there. So just, I'm just gonna pop this back in. <laughs> so it's gonna go this way. All right, so the new brake switch is on. And then don't forget to put your connector back on. Just like that. And then you're all set. So, all that's left is to put that kick panel back on. And then, you're all good. All right guys, so everything's back on. I just finished putting the kick panel back on. None of the wiring interferes with any of the brake and with any of the pedals. All that's all good. So. Um, yeah, before you put everything back on, I forgot to mention, always check, check that, uh, your brake lights are working because, um, if the switch doesn't work, then you have to take off the kick panel again. That's all set. It's all good. All right, guys. So it was pretty simple, uh, a pretty simple install. Um, probably take you like five minutes to do. Took me a little bit longer because I was recording, but um, it's whatever. So yeah, so I didn't get to show you guys what actually was happening with the brake light switch sticking, but 
trust me it was sticking it was staying on when i would let go of the brake pedal so just trust me on that one so yeah that was a pretty quick install and thanks again for watching